Hi folks and welcome to the grill cleaning segment. Um, we're actually going to clean four different surfaces on a grill that was virtually weathered and destroyed. The first being the stainless steel. And you can see here we're actually using a uh, nylon brush, triangle head nylon brush, and the machine that we're using would be the uh, Desideria Plus. Yeah. As you can see it's breaking up steam and carbon, pretty, uh, breaking up the uh, grease and carbon pretty fast. Oh, a little elbow grease and just a brand new. So we're going to move from here over to the uh, side of the grill here. And it's very, very, very deep. Gummy grease. Pretty obvious. Scraping it off there. And this surface is more of a porcelain. Um, with that, it's going to take a lot more. It's like the stove tops that you have. Uh, Grease is super, super thick and dried on it. Um, right at the moment, we're using the jet nozzle with a, uh, a round head on it and a stainless steel scrubby. Yeah. Scratch that surface, as I said, it's like the porcelain paint. Just to get an idea, you really couldn't even, couldn't even see through this grease down to the writing. Cleaned it off pretty good section here we're on a plastic side tray and we'll also use the Desiderio Plus. Now on this we're going to actually add the uh, one of the really nice features of the Desiderio models is the uh, injection. You can hear it right there and it actually adds a lot more heated water to the surface. Now this is just the plain water this is without a chemical so uh, to get an idea but uh, it's a pretty nice, pretty nice little unit here. Works really well on this. Considering this grill was weathered for over two years and never cleaned, I don't think. Double grease and we'll have it cleaned up here in no time. Too bad. Let's move on to the actual grill insides, which are going to be cast iron. It could be a ceramic coated too, or stainless steel. You can obviously see the baked on foods here that were left. And we chose to go with the uh, stainless steel round uh, grout brush just to kind of hit the tops and in between. I'm only going to go through about half of this and just clean half the grill so you can kind of see what's going on here. But the steam is breaking down all the grease and, and breaking off the food particles. So we're not only cleaning but we're sanitizing. Somebody left some chicken on there for you. on half of the grill. As it's drying, it's uh, pretty clean over there on the right side. 